You'd be the judge, did they say gangsta? They're just neighborhood bums, and I think they were... <laughs> you can go to YouTube and type in Bonnie. Go to Google and type in Bonnie, San Diego, Oceanside, Gangstalking. She talks about how they uh, have anchored red shirts, red vehicles, red cars to gangstalking. And then represent the uh, the color red along all of her paths. Because they, she's, um, she's describing how they anchored red to gangstalking. Now, did they just say gangstalking? Were any words that had the phonics that sounded like it? Um, targets of organized stalking and gang stalking are sensitized to specific words, phrases, physical gestures, sounds, and colors. And then once they're sensitized to these, each particular things or multiple things, they will then, the manager of these expeditions will then use duped community members to get along at target's route and repeat them non-stop everywhere they go. It's called anchoring and sense anchoring something in order to sensitize them to that same thing. They will also anchor a target to, listen. Now, I just noticed that it appears that some brush has been possibly cut off over there. That was no, that was not open, wide open like it is right now, before. Okay, so that's another thing we, uh, pay attention to and if you don't believe that they would not hang on a second if you don't believe that they won't uh, uh, clear away brush so they can do something I'm about ready to show you something this was noticed by me about a week and a half ago look at this alright now you see all this brush here the way it is okay now look at this this is a spot here okay that you can tell was purposely cut through because it's the way it's wide open and then it led over to my hiking area and when I noticed it about a week and a half ago what I did was cut down a bunch of bush uh, branches and bushes and uh, obstructed their ability to walk up through here but this was cut here for that reason now all this has got poison ivy on it okay so that's the reason why they cut it. So when they once they could walk up through here during the night, because I've heard them walk up. Oh, I literally heard them walking right next to my camp at night. Because you can tell the difference between footprints, like a uh, foot, uh, people walking on foot, like right now. Listen. That's footprints. That's the difference. That's a big difference between a bird walking, a squirrel walking, or raccoon walking. And that's exactly the sounds I heard by my tent. I'm a target of organized stalking, which can also be called gang stalking. And what they basically do is just put people along all my routes, including at this hiking area, who will do things to remind me that I'm a victim of this crime. Now, you be the judge. Now, I want you to listen to this as well, and then i got to get back to what I'm doing. Today's date is September 21st, 2013. Listen to the phonics of these two separate words. Okay, you ready? Gang stalk, game stop. That's right, they got the same phonics, especially when they're set fast. Gang stalk, game stop. Game stop, gang stalk, game stop, gang stalk. And then they just use different dupe dummies to get along my routes every day as a result of knowing where I'm at to repeat certain words, phrases, or physical gestures. So you be the judge. Did it sound like they said it? And why would they stop just right there? They were right there at that open spot. They could have stopped anywhere. Notice how all this is brushed off up until you get to that point. And that wasn't wide open like that before. That's right. I'm a target victim and activist concerned in the crimes of what is known as organized stalking. Thank you.